What's up, everybody? Hope you're all good. Hope you're all well. In my last video, I did a shoot with uh, Andreka and Sancha, and we did some darn shots with gels. I know I didn't explain it as well as I should have, but I'll get better at that. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to retouch the floor. I'm not going to try to show you the rest of it. Um, we'll do that in another video. I'm going to try to keep this video to 10, 15 minutes. Um, otherwise, it's going to be an hour. So I'm just going to show you how to retouch the floor using a technique that you usually use on skin um, called frequency separation. And I've made an action for it, so you can just click a button and then start. If you haven't seen the last video, please click on this card. And uh, I don't know which side it goes. But I'm going to put it up so that you can go watch the video on how we shot the photos. And then um, this will be how I retouch the floor. Um, if you want to know how I did anything else to the photos, uh, editing-wise, like fixer stockings and, and dodge and burn stuff, let me know. I'm using a Wacom tablet and a mouse and my keyboard. So I'll try to explain shortcuts and I'll explain how things work from there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, enjoy. So you can see this is the end result. This is the one I posted on Instagram um, that I cleaned the floor. So I did some color editing and stuff to it as well as well as fix your stocking so if you look here that's what it looks like now and and um that's what it looked like before so you can see i fixed the stocking <clears throat> and then if you look at the floor and then look at this one's floor it's obviously much dirtier so yeah so what I'm going to do is try to explain how I clean the floor. It's obviously not the same photo because I um, I re-exported this after I realized people wanted to see how I cleaned it. So I'm going to clean this one, but that's that's the example. Oh, geez, the example that I put on Instagram. So it's still texture. I didn't want to remove it all, but uh, the patchy dirtiness, like um, see like footprints and stuff from this video, that uh, I removed, like all of this. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm not going to do any of the cleaning up of her um, because it takes a bit of time. Maybe I'll clean up the floor and I'll speed edit the, the end. I'll just speed it up quickly. Um, I don't want the video to be too long. So if you want to know how to do that kind of stuff, just let me know and I'll, I'll go from there. Okay, before we carry on, uh, please do me a favor, click the bell, click the subscribe, show some support and uh, leave a comment while we're busy and uh, tell me how you're doing if this is hard or not and uh, what you want to see next Peace. okay so this is what you're gonna do this is the image straight out of Lightroom I haven't tweaked it yet so I'm not gonna crop down a little bit <clears throat> then what you want to clean is this this dirtiness yeah so um, what we're gonna do is I've already made the, the frequent separation layer if you don't have it um, make sure you go to the actions panel so if you go window actions it will appear then you click this button and then you say import uh, there we go load actions oh geez you go load actions and then this will go find the one in that i gave you in the downloads open it there and it will add it then <clears throat> next step you're just going to click it once and push enter and then it's going to be done so there's the the image back to normal if you turn the detail layer off you will see that it's blurry and if you turn the the tone layer off you can see it's extra sharp so if you turn both off you can see that's just fine detail you can see hair and stuff so when it's all turned on you see both okay then what you want to do is go paintbrush make sure you take the mixer brush make sure you uncheck this one and you check this one that'll make it that you don't pick up any paint but you blend what's on the on the on the image and then you're going to I, these don't matter too much you can play with these I just make sure that the tone is about 20 and then basically all you're going to do is select this one and then I'm using a Wacom tablet so if I'm on a soft brush it controls the pressure and the flow um, and then basically you're just gently going to go over all of these things and you will see that it's going to take the main color and blend it in with the, the dark dirty color and that will fix most of it right but the problem is once you get to the hair, because the hair is technically a tone in the middle there, it's blending that black with the, the color. So when you when you tend to get too close to something like this, 
it it will pull her in there because it thinks it's, it's trying to blend that out if you're working this way it won't affect it but that way it will so what you want to do there's two things you can do i don't know how far i can go back now let me undo all of this so so what you want to do is pull this layer up and um, work underneath it so that you can't affect any of this there's two ways the one way is the way i figured out recently that i prefer the other way is you select this bottom one i push w for selection and then the new tool for subject selection is really good so this works very well with a sharp image because it's in studio so if you click select subject it will by itself do a very good job of selecting so let me just give it a second so there you can see what it's done now you could get finicky and get in between here and in between here but because it's not dirty in between there i'm not going to bother with it so i'm just going to do that one click then all you're going to do is you're going to go right click copy okay then that's now made a duplicate of her then i put it away at the top above all of this right now technically you can't you can't mess her up so if you if you go back to what we were doing if you do this you can't mess her up because because you're working underneath her but you can still pull her color out which is the problem so now all you're going to do is do one more step and all you're going to do is you're going to control click this layer which is going to reselect what you did and then go back to the blur layer and all you're going to do is hit delete so if you can see on the side yeah let me make this bigger it's deleted her from from it but because we've put the layer on top you can still see it so if you to turn this off um she would be blurry right that you've taken her out so all you're going to do is now work on this again but because you've deleted her from the background the mixer brush doesn't get confused and doesn't pull blacks back into the picture so um as you go you'll see it doesn't really affect the hair much and it won't affect her too much so this is the quickest easiest way i've seen so far um to clean the background obviously having a clean background would be better but there's always footprints or some kind of marks on the background so um, knowing how to clean it is always ideal models are walking up and down and they they stepping marks onto the picture so this is the method i've i've figured out so far using the same technique as uh, frequency separation for skin um, if you want to know how to do the skin one i will do one on it i have done one but it was a very long video so i it's, I'd, I'd like it not to be such long videos but the nice thing about this is because you're blending the original tones it's not going to take the pink away and put blue there which sometimes you struggle to get it to to match very nice so we're going to try to just blend it in. so all you're trying to do is get rid of a lot of the blacks you just pick your paintbrush up a lot um, if you don't pick it up it's going to keep blending what's on the paintbrush so just pick it up a lot and then just work over it like this let me see how quick i can do this i'm going to speed this up quick so i'm going to stop talking for a second Okay, so you can obviously take a lot more time on this um, to clean it a bit better but if you want to see what it's done that was before and after and that was took me about i don't know 20 seconds 30 seconds um, to just try and clean up a little bit so now the next step would be to just clean up the marks on the floor so it doesn't look so dirty so that you do the opposite so you want to work on the detail so see this line is the seam in my um, infinity curve so all you do is you go on the detail layer i take a stamp tool the clone stamp i make it 100 100 and i take a hard brush with pressure which is controlled by my um, wacom tablet so you just select a, a spot which will give you detail and then you just take out this line and also same same cool thing is because it's underneath it it won't affect her see it won't affect her okay i'm gonna continue doing this really quickly so i'm gonna speed this up by like 10 10 times okay so there you can see now that's before and after um that's the deep that's the tones that's the detail um this is a very easy way to separate it because i used to do the same technique um but it used to affect me because when i got too close to her it would blend her into the background and that was the problem so you can obviously spend much more time on this to blend it a bit better but i just want to show you how quick it is to to do that i know it doesn't seem quick because it's been 19 minutes so um yeah so what what you can do with this layer what i was saying is you can just turn this on and then if you want to fix something else you can just you can't blend on it but you can take a normal paintbrush 
and then smooth out some stuff like like fix this up a bit and you know so that's just a secondary layer of tone detail underneath the texture so you can do whatever you want here so yeah this layer is just to clean up extra um i'm gonna lift the brightness and stuff on this just to make it look more like how i did and i'm gonna try to fix that stocking this uh, stocking over here just quickly so i'm not going to explain it i'm just going to speed it but that's basically how you do this so just remember take your frequency separation separate the layer um let me show you again so um i've already done this but all you're going to do is come frequency separation hit enter click on the background w select subject give it a second okay right click copy put this above and then control click so you select the same thing then select this layer and delete it from there so now that's where you are then you use the mixer brush on this layer to clean up use the stamp clone tool on this one to fix the the marks on the floor and you could just delete all the marks on the floor but then it would look like she's flying and you don't want that you want it to still look like she's in studio on a floor so um, i would just clean up the by replacing it with better texture and then that's it um, the rest of the edit's going to be just me doing things I would normally do to retouch a photo. Um, I'm going to speed this up by 10 times. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, please uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see what it looked like before, that's the image out of um, Lightroom, straight out of the camera. So that's the floor before, and then that's the floor after. So that's um, generally what I would do to the image. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, please subscribe and like and comment. And uh, I really enjoyed you guys uh, coming through. Okay, um, that's the video done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the new content. I'm going to try to keep this regular. We've already shot the two next videos, so m maybe by Friday I'll have this one up. This one should be going up today, which is uh, Wednesday, and uh, the next one should go up on Friday. Keep following me on Instagram because a lot of the sneak peeks go up there, and I ask questions about if you want to know something on my Instagram. So please follow that. It's Optical Noise, and uh, support the model, support me, and uh, let's keep this content going. Do me a favor, click the like button, the subscribe button, and click the bell because it helps YouTube notify you when my videos go up. Um, a lot of the YouTube videos are getting lost. And then leave us a comment because the comments help us do new comments. And I reply to everyone. So if you've got a question or a tip on gear or editing or ways to shoot, let me know and then I will uh, get that done for you. Anyway, thanks for coming. Cheers. Enjoy.